Okay, hello. Um, thanks for showing up. Um, this is uh, my talk about my attempt to have the Libre Graphics meeting in Nuremberg uh, next year. Um, just some info about me. So I'm a developer and designer. I have a small company, one, one man show basically at the moment, um, doing work for typography, uh, tooling and fonts and stuff like that. I'm on GitHub, but um, I'm basically here to um, represent the efforts to make the Libre Graphics meeting happen, and the community of that Libre Graphics meeting is basically organized over that mailing list. So if you are um, interested into you know what's going on, then you should um, uh, get into the list. Mm. The company will probably be interesting because it will be the thing that um, um, handles all the all the um, finances and whatever. So um, that's why I'm showing it. This is what I'm going to talk about. Trying to make it quick. I'm going to tell you what the LGM is all about, and then um, how I came into it. Uh, what I've learned so far about it. Uh, my current state, what I need, and then um, what I hope I can give the next iteration um, from this position. So, um, the Libre Graphics meeting uh, started. Going to, I'm going to show you. I'm not going to comment each of these, but I'm going to show you like some graphics of, of each of the meetings and um, where it was. And so you get a feeling for it. Also, the the, uh, fo uh, the group photos of the attendees, um, I think, is really interesting because I know a lot of these people. But also, it gives an idea how many people were there. Um, this was the first one in Lyon in 2006, and it's uh, the successor of the um, GymCon. So before there was the GYMP um, special conference, and uh, Dave Neary. Um, in 2006, took the initiative and broadened it for um, all of the graphics stack in Libre, in the Libre software world, and um, the, the the project basically started to, to gather there. Um, that was the year. the after the graphics were not that great. I uh, couldn't find the photo, whatever. Then um, in Poland. 2008, uh, Breslau, call it. So this is 2009, you see it's gathering more people. Um, in Brussels, I got the first uh, official number. I, the, the documentation of the past um, issues is sometimes very good, so there's all the, all the old websites and programs is online, but you don't really get numbers. So, But for this one, um, there was a number of um, 250 participants from 38 countries. And then uh, there was another one in Montreal. A lot of the initial people came from Canada, so a lot of the initial liberal graphics meetings um, happened actually in Canada, and then they started to, to move in, in other places as well. Oh, one, one thing I got to um, uh, tell about the Libre Graphics meeting is the, the core idea is that developers and users meet. So it's always a nice conference where where, where, where artists show their work and the project projects show their work, and that really creates kind of a really nice um, atmosphere. It's like um, not so techy. It's it's more like um, widening the mind, you know. Um, Vienna, 2012, um, Madrid, that was a big one. I think that's the biggest one I, I know about. So they had total participants, um, 450, and they came from 26 countries and from each continent on the world. So that was a nice one. And then uh, we got Leipzig, 2014, and that was the first one I attended. So I put a picture of mine having <laughs> Uh, the presentation, but I, I was not in the group picture, so you can't find me there. Then there was um, 10 years in Toronto. I also was there. I'm also not in the group picture, 
but you can see the blue book, so I brought a copy of that if anyone is interested. It's a collection of essays. It's pretty interesting, actually, but you need some time to um, to read it. Uh, yeah, after I was in um, London, you see that's a big crowd there. All the, all the venues um, used to be in um, universities, and it's usually like before the semester starts in in, um, in spring. Mm. But like Europe, like w from when I witnessed, had um, bigger crowds usually. Uh, the reason is Brazil, I didn't, that was Rio de Janeiro, really, really nice destination, but I didn't attend, I don't know why, I can't remember why. That was Seville, that was a really nice one as well. So that's the first group picture I appear in, so if you find me, you get a prize. And that was 2019, Saarbrück, uh, at the Hochschule für Bildende Künste, that was a really nice one as well, I think. And that's also kind of a tragic one, because that was the last one before the COVID pandemic happened. And um, the next year was supposed to be in Rennes, in France, but that was only held online. And just like a picture I found, there's not much material about that. Uh, the year after, they also had an, an online one that it says physical, but I'm not really sure how physical it was. Um, and I didn't attend that. Anyways, 2002 was flat. Nothing happened there. 2003, nothing happened as well. But the team in Rennes had a smaller version of it, the Graphic Labor, which is more local, you know, not that big. Um, and they decided they give it um, another try to, to restart it. And that was like this year in Rennes. We have, um, I was there, we have two group fo photos, um, I think both are oh, like nice. But you see the group is not that big, it was like 40 people, it was not in a university, it was at Active Design, the um, organizer of that, um, of that issue, in their rooms and you know, the space was okay. It was very basic but I'm very glad they did it because you know, you meet old friends and, and come together again. Um, that was, was really, really nice this year. So um, usually how I came to it, usually there's a two years, like they, the, in the past there was a two year um, process of venue selection where you would you know, have a former team and, and get in touch and then you write a proper proposal and then you present it to the community and then it's basically decided upon like two years ahead at the conference if the proposal is going to happen or not. But that whole process doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> so I was at a meeting and I was like interested because I always liked the, the, the Libre Graphics meeting. It's kind of my entry into um, working in Libre software actually. And also it's like very like family, family for me in, in some point. It's like my home conference, I feel really. So I, I, I always thought I, I might want to do it in Nuremberg. So I went into the meeting and thought I'd just ask some questions about what I need to do and how to do it. But there was nobody um, proposing anything. So I was like, okay, I, I wanted to you know do it in two years or so. But uh, I can try at least, and they said, "Okay, you got it. Go run with it." <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> so um, now I have um, um, do my. I had to do my homework, so I'm doing my homework basically and try to try to figure out uh, what's still there, what I need to do as a local organizer, um, and what maybe uh, the community can help with. Um, so there's this website. It has also a part of the website is also trying to document the LGM and setting up um, um, a bigger structure. You can work into it, but it's all old and outdated. And I think Saarbrücken in 2019, there, there was an input from, from the old people. They ran it like with that stuff, but so that was already. And kind of the, the, there's an, a generational shift 
in the community that the old people who did it for 10 years or so um, became less interested and so Saarbrücken had a university behind it, big team, they managed it pretty well and then ran kind of they, uh, I mean, I'm pretty proud of them to, to run with it and, and keep it keep it alive anyways through the pandemic and getting this year up was really cool. The documentation is is good that like that is online. There's a lot of helpful stuff like what the venue should be, how the conference should be structured, what kind of talks are there. You get a lot of, I mean, I, I also know the meeting, so I, I, it's easy for me to read it so I understand what they mean. But it's also good to have it black and white. Um, then there's some um, discussion about uh, a board and what their tasks would be. And so there they describe basically uh, the timing that the board should take care of, of of important stuff and when stuff should happen. So you get a lot of information, but it's kind of, you get to find your way um, through it. And then there are some discussions, for example, about f um, creating a, a LibreGraphics association where there's a lot of thought about and a lot of spirit and how stuff should be handled. Um, this is the, the example structure. I, I'm not bound to it, but I'll try to, like if I get to do it anyways, I'll try to stick to it closely. So I like the four day conference um, thing. It's a single track conference and it has long lunch breaks and it has community meeting time. Um, it's, it's not that rushed. It's, it's basically a, a very like a longish conference, but it's not stressful, you know? And I'm um, not going to, to, to talk about the other things. That's the whole thing. There's also like a thing for the venue, what the venue should have, like one big room, like an auditorium and breakout rooms, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> I like the, but like the, the liberal graphics meeting has some spirit that really needs to be in it and um, I really like that there's, there's in the documentation local requir um, organizers uh, requirement which basically says please use freely open source software for your stuff, so otherwise we may not be so credible with our project. Um, it's free to attend, that's putting some effort on the organizers. Um, and it has a nice open code of conduct which is really readable and you know, feels open and welcoming. So I'm happy that they have it. Then there, there are aspirations and I know they implemented some of these things in the past, but um, it's really also big issues if you basically start from nothing. So um, one thing is that they wanted to uh, reimburse all the speakers and probably they, they also would reimburse some um, non-speakers to participate in, in, in projects and they would collect um, sponsorship for that. I'd like to do that but it's a big, big um, task. Um, the two-year venue selection process is really nice. I, I didn't come to enjoy that. But um, I would like to restart that as well. Then uh, there was the thing that the continents were switching or should be switching. And there were plans to you know, do it in Asia, to it uh, like Sri Lanka had an, an, uh, a proposal. But that's also kind of, they have political trouble head there, stuff like that. So that, um, interesting locations so anyways. And they had, on some issues, they had translators to translate from the local language to English and from English to local language so that they open it for the local um, people who attend, which I think is really nice. But also a big issue if you're you know, starting from scratch. Um, so um, um, I explicitly asked, so how do I know that I'm legitimate to do this and basically whoever does it is legitimate. Um, but the Jim project explicitly supports me and the community also, like the people who answer on the mailing list said, Dude, if, you, if you try to pull this off, please do it. So I feel legitimate, but if any one of you want to fork uh, it at the same time, whatever, there's no rule about that. Um, 
the the old generation is is not available anymore. There are old people like old, no, not old people like old community members who were there from the start, but um, they also don't follow these roles anymore. This 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 global organization team is basically not existent. But you can ask them for stuff, but you don't get like real um, focused work. Um, on that, but you also get, don't get a um, lot of opinions or you know bike shedding of that, so that's maybe a good thing. Uh, the Rennen organizers are really supporting me, giving me information that's really nice. Um, you read in the documentation online, there's no board, there's no association, and um, basically every, every LGM is a reboot because there's no thing that lasts like the, the 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 local team builds it and then it goes down and that's like the board and the association were um, attempt to solve that but but you know people go stuff is gone so there is nothing basically and uh, the advice was yeah just treat it like a free software project that you found and you want to run it you need a feature you fork it you know you use it um, so right now. Um, I'm in the um, process of, of trying it act to, to make it actually happen. Um, and I made it public that before I really like make it happen, I'll, I'll try to get a venue. So this is my number one um, item on the list. And of course, to date with that. Because that's really time critical now. That needs to happen now. And to find... Um, and to find a local team that is willing to help me, like at least you know some people who, who are willing to to work on this together because i can 't do it alone. There are also some people in the community who are you know but you need local people to to organize local stuff um, and then we, we, if that can be resolved we 'll announce it officially and then we can officially start fundraising. And uh, you know, get into the details and see how big it can be, how much we can implement of the aspirations, and, and how nice it can be. Um, the sponsorship reimbursement complex, which I also mentioned before, is um, it's a big question for me because I'm not, for example, I, 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 I have a request for my accountant running. He didn't answer yet. How how I can you know just hand off money from from um, the company account to to people who show me you know whatever foreign country foreign like other con continent um travel expenses they had and i'm just sending out the money um i, I don't know how to make this the way that uh, the, the tax authorities accept it i'm not sure so i got to f to solve this stuff um, also, when I get sponsoring, the question is how nice versus how much money is there for reimbursement because both are really interesting um, things and it's probably, if, if you make it too nice, you probably spend too much uh, money on that aspect and don't try hard enough to get more people in from places that are hard to come in. So, not sure this is, yeah, like like stuff I'm, I'm, I'm in, in this um, area and the other thing that really is like that's really hurtful is that there's no documentation uh, or numbers or whatever on previous um, uh, reimbursement initiatives how much they paid how much you know like, I, it was would be really really helpful to to know that stuff uh, what I want to do what I want to have from this otherwise I think it wouldn't be like worth the effort is try to to create a local Nuremberg area network of people interested in graphics or media that, that is created with Libra software. And um, so my company is also working in that space, so it would be really interesting to, 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 to have a community um, uh, to contribute to and to, to, to develop stuff with. Um, then the next thing is I'm kind of the the, the the existing documentation isn't good. I want to make it easier for next iteration. I can't create 
probably uh, organizations that take to can handle finances and stuff like that. That's and that's maybe not not the right way to to uh, tackle this issue because you know maybe it's gone and whatever. Um, and then yeah, one question is how to scale it. You, know, you can just you know um, don't have uh, lunch. Just order pizza with some. So then you, it's easier to organize. Um, so now I come to my my base point. Um, I need everything. Um, I need I need a team. So if if any one of you knows someone or yourself feel like it's interesting for you, get in touch with me, or send them around or send them to the video of this recording. Uh, I'd, I'd be really happy to talk to anyone who is interested um, in making this happen in Nuremberg. I think it's cool, and it's um, it's in an interesting heritage. It's a cool conference. Um, I really need the venue. I'm working on that. Um, there are a lot of ideas that need to be explored. I hope I can kind of make it quick. I try to get in the universities. If anyone knows someone who's working in the local universities and could be interested, please, please, please send them my way or, or send me, you know, <laughs> the name or whatever way around. Because um, it's always easier if you get someone on the inside to talk to. Um, it's the the... Call for call for papers is not open yet, but if you know someone or do want something yourself, keep it in mind. Um, I still believe it will happen, even though there's you know not much to start with. But I'm basically starting it right now with my um, presentation here. Um, I also want to start the propose the, the two year process, so I'm also going to to start the the calls for for venue proposals. Then um, sponsors, partners. I had good talks to good to, to people here already. So sponsors um, is definitely definitely a, a thing that will come. And then um, supporting program could be really interesting as well. Like have a party or have you know an art thing happening. Um, I mean, that's just you know stuff that would be really nice to have also. Um, so I'm going to finish this, and this is maybe, I mean, this is maybe most interesting for people who run software projects, like probably the most at this conference, is how to how to improve the situation for future uh, generations, hopefully, um, who who come to organize the LGM, and I think it's um, basically. Uh, rewriting of the existing documentation um, in Git, put it in Git, so right now it's uh, it's it's some vega drop of, of a WordPress thing and you don't have the, the, the history and I think the Git history really helps to understand a lot um, how, how the current state came to be and who contributed what um, then um, it could look similar to a specification. Actually, it's basically documentation. It's basically, it's like it's like source code that humans need to interpret and run. So that's basically the idea. And maybe local teams can just go in, take all the knowledge and the advice, and then interpret it themselves, fork it, tweak it to their needs because there's no. All the all the structure that that's been there. There's no you know nobody says you have to do it like that. It's it's um, free for the local team to decide how to do it. So they should be able to fork it. And maybe if we learn new things, we can put that back into the documentation, and then um, yeah, have like an an upstream starting point for the next LGM. Uh, that's basically it. Uh, thank you for coming. And questions, of course. Um, not really a question, but I I run a few, let's say, conferences or events, not big ones, 
but basically with very little money, but like for a hundred people. So you, you don't need a lot of money, but depending what you want to achieve. Um, definitely finding a university that supports you. I'm not sure how it works here in Germany, but yeah. I believe they wouldn't charge. Yeah. And it would bring uh, it would bring interest to the university, so the students could go around meet and yeah. so it, it usually universities are, are interested in that. If you can you could try also to find a company that has a large place, maybe they'll have a gallery or something. Some big companies they may have a room that can fit a hundred, two hundred people, two hundred and fifty. So that could be a a second alternative if you can yeah. find a company that is willing to to work with. But it it would need to be a company interested in open source. I don't think uh, other companies would it, because we did that also uh, find companies to host meetups. But then it's just like forty, fifty people. Yeah. So uh, thanks. Universities definitely is the ideal partner. Yeah. And in the past, we always, like almost um, always had my My suggestion for universities is uh, find the coordinator of certain area. They will yeah. be able to help. So uh, I'm not sure which kind of university you want to, to go, but find in the website who is the coordinator. Or you can find a student. Maybe you have a colleague that is a student, is, is, mm, is studying yes. in the university, and they can get in you in touch with the coordinator so because yeah. i i did i did uh all, most of the conferences that i i organized were in the university but it was the university that i studied so mm. i had contact Better with the context, coordinator yeah. but also there were other people that there was a group of interest in in the university that they also were helping um with the the, the organization Yeah, I, I wrote one um, university directly, it's the Akademie der Bildenden Künste in Nuremberg, which is an um, art university, really the oldest one in Germany, really interesting place. Uh, they didn't answer yet. But um, so that's my dream place. I'd, I'd like the, to be the most, but I'll check out the other universities as well. Yeah. There are graphic, we have graphic departments and we have sure. IT departments, so that's both kind yeah. of options yeah. for, for uh, this. Try IT or art, maybe. I'll, I'll try everything. Or maybe mathematics or whatever. Yeah, in Leipzig. The, the, the Actually, usually, usually mathematics and physics, they are also interested. So in, in try, try different you're right. Different people, different areas, different universities. I'm not sure how many universities you have around here, but uh, you can try maybe more than one. We reply, yeah, we're happy to, to organize <laughs> or to help. So. so in Leipzig, it was the mathematics department. You're right. Uh, the the second thing you mentioned that you want to find local people to help. Yes. You don't need local people to develop a website to do marketing or anything that um, is supposed to reach out to other people in other countries. And so you could find people in the community mm -hmm. that are interested in maybe helping you build a website, build a marketing material. Uh, I don't know if there are social networks assigned to, to the conference so they could manage so, social networks and interact with people, reply mm. to messages, comments, and thing like, things like yeah. that. So you, you don't need local people. You need, you need local people to deal with university and, and money and all the, if you want to do catering and other things in the university, how, how are you going to, to deal with that? But yeah, also video will be um, an issue. But we if, have, if we you go to university, about maybe they have video in some universities. So, yeah, we are, I'm already working yeah. on, on these aspects. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, you're right. With the there's stuff that the community could could do, but it's also not so easy to find them. It's, I think probably the 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 sweet thing about a local community uh, would be that it's easy to meet and easy to talk to each other. E uh -huh. So so. You don't need to do it like you alone. You can find another community, maybe a hacker space or yeah. some local yeah, yeah. meetup group. Them. Yeah, yeah. That they, I they could be a, like a part of the organization. So they could bring potentially a known organization that yeah. could receive the money and do all the things that you would get in trouble with taxes because if you're receiving money, uh, 
It, I think it, I think it's, it's hard to deal with money I think in certain possible. countries. So yeah. it's easy to just. In my cases, we never had a company behind or an own org. So we're just saying, uh, buy these and bring these to us. <laughs> so that was the solution because we didn't have to do anything with taxes. So yeah. Yes, no question. Do I understand correctly that you are rebooting a conference which is not happening uh, for two or three years, It right? happened this year. Ah, it did happen, okay. It happened this year, but my main, yeah. So one thing is to reboot the streak and get it back to old glory in a way, but um, the, the other aspect is that it's basically the way it is right now. You're rebooting it every year. Okay, I think we're done. Thank you.